Hi all, welcome back. It's been a while that I created my last video. I was on a small break for my new year, um, but here I am. Uh, I'm gonna start today's video with a small story. I'm pretty sure you all know uh, the anti-gravity pen or they call it as a space pen. Um, apparently the normal ball pen cannot be used in the space because the ink flows with gravity and therefore you know nasa wanted to create a pen which can work anti-gravity um, it is said that they have spent quite a lot of money to invent that one on the other hand side there was another team uh, they just went ahead and used the pencil of course, um, people say so many things about it. Uh, there are, of course, advantage and disadvantage of every both the tools. Um, one side, there was cost-effective implementation of pencil, but it could create a derbies of graphite, or you know, uh, the pencil graphite is also flammable, and it had its own dis it has disadvantages. Uh, today's topic is not about pencil versus anti-gravity pen. Uh, the anecdote that I wanted to give was having a cost-effective implementation of retrieval. Um, there is a possibility that you know you can take all the documents, you can put it into uh, big databases, do lot of embeddings, use it for retrieval, give it to um, your LLMs and do the wonders and on the other hand side there is a five minute setup and you can use it for your purpose and this is very specifically uh, i'm talking about for students and teacher who are not tech savvy people so let's go ahead and do today's um, implementation a, a use case The use case that I want to show today is a student and for a teacher that either they have a chapter to read through, understand all the text, um, try to answer all the questions, um, get some references or on the other hand side, create some question answers for students. Let's try to see if we can try to achieve that one uh, with a very, very minimal setup. Uh, for this particular assignment or for this particular project, we are going to use assistant uh, from uh, OpenAI. That's the API that we are going to use it. So let's go ahead, go to platform.openai.com uh, and then go to assistants. Um, I here have nothing, so let me go ahead and create an assistant. Let's call him as study buddy. Yeah, something like that. And just to save the time, I have already generated some text uh, instead of me typing because last time many of my friends already complained that, you know, I spend too much time on typing. It is better would be that I do it prehand and then use the text. So let me do that. Okay, just an uh, instruction that uh, you are a helpful assistant helping student for question answers. Uh, we, today we are going to use model GPT-4 Turbo, which is GPT-4. 1106 preview uh, we, it's 10 times costlier than uh, 3.5 turbos 1106 uh, but of course it has little bit higher accuracy so for demo purpose i'm going to use gpt4 1106 but um, 11 uh, you know gpt 3.5 turbo should also be good enough um, but let's let's go ahead with this one today 
most important thing is we have to check this checkbox or we have to make sure that the retrieval is switched on and then we are going to add one chapter or one file uh, again i have already tried and done some homework um, we are going to use one of the class 12 cbsc computer science chapter 7 uh, i have just picked it up randomly uh, so that you know uh, we can keep some context here so the the, the file that i'm going to upload is this understanding data it has around how many pages some 14 pages and let's see um, we, we're gonna just give this file to model okay so let's go to my folder chapter computer science and let's say chapter seven okay save with this say what it is doing is it's uploading a file um, it's already chunking all the text into smaller pieces um, each each small piece is called as chunk um, it is indexing it and then it is ready for our retrieval what it's going to do is every time we're going to ask him a question it will check it will try to find all the relevant text We'll take this text, give it to LLM, and then summarize or answer using this text for, for our questions. Okay, it has already done that. Um, in normal scenarios, in a bigger scenarios, doing this up to this click button of save would already been taken half a day quite easily. And just as magic, OpenAI, APIs have done it for you in few minutes or less than a minute. Let's see if our uh, you know assumptions are correct. At least it should give some basic answers. It it may not be able to give the you know professor level question answers, but I'm pretty sure it would be much more than the average student or average teacher. Okay, let's go ahead and ask you know what are the sections we should study in this chapter okay that would be a primary question right okay let me see okay uh, i mean meanwhile i'll just try to show you a pdf file um, it should tell me something like this you know in this chapter we should be able to study data collection data storage data processing and statistical techniques for data processing right yeah introduction to data data collection data storage data processing and statistical techniques for data processing you know it's it's not just reading the text and testing it here you know it truly understand the context and it is it is telling us that you know this is what we need to do okay let's go ahead and do another question you know uh, for example uh, let's see here for example what are types of data right it says it's there is something called a structured data and unstructured data right let's try to ask the same question list the types of data uh, give one example yeah and of course it should read through all the chunks find an most appropriate chunk you know section or subsection it should give that all the content to llm for processing and then we should get a reply back from uh, our open ai or uh, large language model here we go okay it correctly said structured data and unstructured data okay this is all 
referring to the text and answering right so let's try to ask the question which for which the answer is not as easy as copy and pasting the data from right so let's go to the end and there are some exercises here right uh, i'm pretty sure that there are no obvious answers or there are no direct answer written um, in the chapter right that's why those are the questions here let's see if you can take a question from here and ask him okay consider the temperature for seven days find out the average temperature and blah 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 let's see if we can do that so 34 34 27 28 27 34 34 it should do some addition and give us uh, let's say uh, tell us what are the statistical techniques that we should be using so if you want to uh, do uh, to find out the average temperature then we should be using mean uh, if you want to find the range then we should calculate the range and if you want to find out the uh, deviation then we should be using the devi standard deviations which it has answered it quite correctly wow I'm truly impressed already. Let's see. Um, what if you are a teacher? Um, you know, uh, you want to generate few questions for this chapter that you can ask student to answer, right? So, uh, based on the example exercise, generate five questions with multiple choice answers each question should be given four options to choose from there should be only one correct answer um, as I said this particular setup was done in less than five minutes uh, of course it may not be as i said uh, of the highest quality of the professor but i'm pretty pretty sure that it would be better than an average student or an average professor there we go guys uh, i mean i did it for one chapter um, i did it for the most minimal possible prompts or you know instructions um, there are techniques that you can use uh, on top of this I am again using the UI that is provided by default for playground uh, which is uh, the most minimal possible setup uh, you can use uh, your application you can use the best of the possible prompts um, you can do it for whole of the subject or even whole of the syllabus um, uh, there are hundred way, different ways of doing it um, this is this was just to give you an introduction for non-technical people to make most and the best use of uh, you know large language models i hope you will be able to pick it up from here and use it in your practical life applications that is all for today guys as always if you have any questions queries concerns or any help required please feel free to reach out have a great day